Hi and welcome to today's AutoCAD Map 3D training course. I'm Gary Morin and in today's session I'm going to be continuing with my overview of the extra map features you get above normal AutoCAD. In previous sessions you've seen how you can pull data into map in its native format so we can look at shape files, ArcSC data, modify it and for it to be saved straight back out to the original system. But sometimes you just want to import the data and make it into CAD data. We can do that through the map tools import and export functions. Let's fire up the import command and down here we have a whole range of different file formats we can pull in. Uh, Esri formats, Autodesk Map Guide SDF format, GML, Map Info, MicroStation all these formats will import data and bring attribute data with them as well. I'm going to go for OS Master Map. I, I bring in the new Master Map GML format. Let's just click on that. Here's the list of all my files. Let me just select one of these files. Let's go for this one here and hit OK. OK, let me drag this over so we can see it. These are all of the different layers or feature types that are within the master map file. In fact, I'm not going to bring in all the data. Let me just right click for a moment. Uh, so I'm right clicking here on the uh, input layer and go deselect all. Let me just scroll down. Well, we can bring in the data using uh, area fields or line data. I just want to go for line data just for now. So we're going to bring that in, but I also want to tell it to actually bring in attribute information as well. So let's just hit OK to there. It'll take it a few moments as it imports this data and this is converting it into AutoCAD DWG format now. OK, that's it imported. Let's just zoom to the extent of it. So if we now zoom in onto this data, see what we've just imported. One thing I do want to show you is if I pick a line and then just go and uh, show you the properties for it. If I scroll down to the bottom of the property pane, you'll see all the attributes imported in map, known as something known as object data, uh, where we can actually use this information later on to work with. Actually, one thing I want to bring your attention to is the descriptive group, which is currently general feature. Uh, we're going to use that in a moment. OK, then. Let's move on now and actually look at some of the other features in MAP. When we were working with native data, we had a look at the display manager. Well, we can actually use the display manager with CAD data as well. So at the moment we're looking at the imported GML data as it comes in native format all on one layer or one color. By using the display manager we can actually present the same data but in different ways. For instance I, I've got this already set up but if I go and click on master map themes it will use that descriptive group uh, layer or uh, values to colour code my data for me. So I haven't actually altered the data itself, I haven't moved it onto different layers, I haven't actually altered the physical colour of the original AutoCAD objects. All I've done is presented it differently on screen and that's what the display manager is all about. Uh, one of the big differences be really between GIS and CAD. CAD's about drawing detailed plans to show people how to build things, how to make things, whereas GIS is a way of is different ways of presenting the data. So here we're presenting the data in this colourful format. If I want to, I've got another one predefined here to say I want to just present the data as a background drop. I I want it all one colour, subtle, so I can overlay my other information on top of it. Other, informa other information on top of it. 
Let's zoom back out again. Okay. So the display manager can actually be used for a whole host of different white things. We can use it to pull back certain data from our current drawing, i.e. particular layers. We can even do things known as queries, which I'll show you in a moment, to pull out certain features, which we can then tell it how we want to stylize it. We can t how we want to hatch it. We can actually add annotation. So it's a way of just presenting our existing CAD data, but in, in a different way. And all we have to do, is, once it's set up, is literally just pick the, the method we want to display it. OK, let's go and look at some other functions in AutoCAD Map. We're going to go back to the Display Manager. We saw this working the other day with native GIS data, where we could colour it and theme it the way we want it to appear. Well, we can do similar things with CAD data. At the moment, we just have the CAD data all drawn on one layer, one colour. But by coming up to the current map section here, I can pick some predefined map settings I have on the system. So let's go for Master Map Themes, and we'll just wait for a moment, and we should see it redisplayed but using different colours, different styles. Let's just zoom in on there so we can see it a little bit more detail. So there we have it. Now in fact, if we come over to the display area, let's make that a little bit larger, we can see that all the information that is on the topographical line layer, it's used the right click and we go down to edit theme. It's themed it based on the values that are within the descriptive group attribute. You saw us import with the master map GML data we imported earlier on. Just cancel that and come out there. And so it's the same data, the same data we draw, we're just presenting it differently on screen. Likewise, I could actually use those attributes and pull that attribute information out and present that on screen. For instance, here, I'm just telling it to use the length of line that is actually stored with the AutoCAD line and show that on screen. 65, 47, th these aren't numbers I've typed in. This has just been calculated directly from the CAD data and being shown. So, this is just a different way of presenting data and allowing me to look at it in, in, in different ways. For instance, I may not want it all uh, multicolored with text on there. I may just want to use it as a background drop so that when I draw my own parcels or my own information on top of it, my information stands out. So the same data, just click, go down here to backdrop, and it will just color code it all as a dual color so I can get on. It's the same data, so if I was to change any one of these lines, let's go back to here and just yank it over very quickly and go back to, let's say, uh, our theme settings again, you will see that same data, but this time being presented as the bright pink line. So that's a quick overview of the display maps within AutoCAD Map. That's the end of this session. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments to make, please don't uh, hesitate to forward them to me. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you join me again soon in the next pr presentation.